he took advantage of women that were vulnerable. St. Pete Police Department's Assistant Chief Michael Kavasov says police believe this man, 52-year-old Tommy Stevens, could have hurt more people than the ones he's already charged with hurting. As we put the case together after the homicide occurred and we're able to put together another sexual battery and then we find one that occurred approximately a year before where somebody's willing to come forward, it's indicative of the fact there's probably a pattern here. Right now, Stevens is in jail, charged with killing Jonna Waller. According to the arrest affidavit, Waller was found dead in an alley in March with several stab wounds. And there were overtones of uh, sexual violence on that as well. Kavasov says when Stevens was arrested in Waller's death, another woman came forward and said Stevens sexually assaulted her. She had been uh, very concerned about coming forward with that information. I think it's important to point out is when somebody's out there, when somebody's not in custody, it's, it's, it's less likely somebody's willing to come forward and discuss those things. He says both sexual assault cases happened near where Waller was killed, one in February of this year and the other in April of last year. Kavasov says Stevens knew one of the victims and described the other victim as a vulnerable person. That's really kind of the whole crux of why we're kind of putting this out today is it appears that he was uh, preying on more vulnerable people in our society. Individuals that uh, may be transient, uh, may make their living uh, being out on the street. Kavasov urges any other victims to come forward. This is what we're here for, to make sure that there's a safe place. Uh, they're not victims, they're survivors, and they feel that they can empower themselves to be able to kind of hold their accuser accountable. Kaylee Tracy, Fox 13 News.